Hey guys, how are we doing? Long time no see. I hope you guys are all set and ready for Christmas considering the year we are in, 2020. I hope you guys are staying well, happy and safe. So I figure I would start making my videos again. I miss being behind the camera uh, now that I have ended the semester for school for myself. I have a little bit more time to focus in on my work again. So I figure I would start off with my curling techniques that everyone loves. Um, I wanted to show um, the classic waves that I do on a lot of my clients that they love. And I wanted to show a more sleek style that you could use or have a more voluminous style. Um, you can use this for the holidays. I know that Unfortunately, we do not have a lot of holiday parties going on, but you can still pop off on the gram. So yeah, let's get started. So here is my lovely model, Miss Sarah. She's gonna be helping me out today on showing you these curling styles. So you can do this a couple ways. You can either section your hair out, which is what I recommend, or if you wanna go for a more lax style, you can just start it with this at the front taking bigger subsections but i'm going to show you a more sectioned out look so that's going to work more for the sleek look versus the more voluminous look but i will explain that more in a second so i'm just going to start by sectioning her out in the middle part you can do this with a side part whichever way works for you i just know i love to rock the middle part so we're going to go with that <laughs> So you can also use any type of sized curling iron. Um, I have a inch or I have a quarter of an inch, but you must have a clamp. I know it's easier without a clamp. Um, I know a lot of people get tripped up with it. Um, so I'm hoping to clear some of that up for you guys today. Um, but with the wand, you can only do only a short amount of things with a wand. Whereas with a clamp curling iron, you can do much, much more. So I will go into section her out and then I will show you the technique. Hi. So I had start to section her out with about an inch, inch and a half um, subsection. Um, I am also going with the smaller curling iron so we can get a tighter curl. So I always start out with grabbing like about an inch subsection from this section itself. So you're gonna wanna hold the curling iron like this, and you're gonna wanna keep your tension tight. That's gonna be the key for keeping the wave. Um, when you kinda just go along as such as this, if you keep going like this, you're just gonna have a normal curl, and that's not what we want. Creating the tension right here is going to help create that wave. So you start out at the top, clamp it, just like this, and you're just gonna wait for the heat to get to this part of the hair. You can even tap it. And this is the part that trips up people, um, especially when you're doing it on yourself. So you're always gonna wanna go away, away from your face, um, and you're gonna just twist the curling iron away, all the way in a circle and that's when you would move down the strand. So this is that curl that we just created, and as I said before, the tension is there, so it's gonna help with that wave. As we're working on this, I'm feeling it, it's nice and hot, then we're going to turn it this way and keep moving down, testing it, and then we're going around in that circle. And then when we get to the ends, what I like to do is I just like to pull it out just so it gives it that more laxed look versus really, really curly. And we're going to let this cool. So when you curl the hair with anything, when anything's hot, it's you can mold it and whatnot. So when it cools, it's set. So that's why we want to keep that there. And we're going to worry about that when we work on the finished style. So again, I'm going to take that inch section and I'm sure you know this, but whatever way you clamp it, that's the direction the curl is going to go in. So I'm keeping it with this 
So you'll see later on when I create the waves um, of the more sleek look, um, it's going to mold in together perfectly. So again, I'm testing this out, going around in a circle, moving down the strand. You can clip it a little bit while we're creating that tension still, pulling it a little bit. And then going around and moving down the strand. And you can also go in the same direction with the curls all around the head. Um, or if you go for the more normal style, which is what I mostly do with clients, I'm just gonna pull that out. Um, you would switch the direction. So instead of me clipping it this way, I'm clipping this one this way. So again, it's the same thing. Have it clamped, I'm testing it. And then again, we're going away from ourselves, away. And then we are moving down the strand. So I'm just going to be moving up section by section by section. Um, and then I will show you guys when I get to the front how I do that. And then we will move along. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have left these curls untouched because as I said, we wanna wait until they cool down um, until we work on the finished style. So I do wanna show you this last section because the front pieces I know are very crucial to the style as well as me going over the ends just once again because I know you guys say a lot of the times you get on um, that clamp mark indentation at the ends. So I'm going to start back here. So again, I'm just going to take a nice amount of hair, about a square inch subsection. It's just going to go in the same way I have been, testing it out, going away from the face and moving down the strand, down and down. And then once I get down here, I'm gonna keep going and moving it. And I'm gonna keep going at a continuous amount. So again, I'm gonna, it's at a weird angle because I'm trying to show you guys, but I'm just gonna kinda keep going until I can just pull. So I kinda had my hand or my thumb on the clamp a little bit just so I'm not ripping the hair, um, but I still wanna have that tension throughout. So I'm gonna show you again. With this section right here. And another thing too, another tip, um, let's say it's your third day or something um, of not washing your hair. Um, I would say a smart product to use prior to doing this um, would be a nice um, either texture spray or dry shampoo spray. Um, just to obviously make it more of a lightweight, give it a little bit more body because as we know, when our hair gets greasier throughout the week, um, it weighs it down. Um, or if your hair is clean, you wanna throw on like a um, little bit of oil, pea size, or um, moisture cream. Just kind of run it through the hair just so it helps calm down the frizz, but the heat also helps with that too. So I'm getting to the end again. And I'm like, again, continuously, and you can see, I'm literally slightly just lifting the clamp a little bit, and then I'm just gonna be pulling through until it falls. So it'll give it that kind of drop effect a little bit. So for this front part right here, she has some small pieces in the front. I'm just gonna include it as one, um, because again, we don't want these front pieces to be so coiled up then it doesn't match the rest of the style. So we're gonna treat it like this length of hair and it will fall out when it's going to. So it'll create that same effect as pulling down the ends. So it's not gonna be crazy curly. So away from the face, pulling down, testing it out, keeping it going, pulling it down, away from the face. And you can see it's already fallen out. 
and it has that calm look to it at the ends. So I'm gonna keep going. And then voila, all done, yay, so pretty. <laughs> so what you can do if your hair is susceptible to falling out, you can just give it a little bit of a spritz. This is of course Amika, you know I love her. This is the touchable hairspray, so I would not use a stronghold hairspray. And just kind of lightly going around, lightly misting it, if you will, just so it withstands what I'm about to do to it. So for the first style I wanted to show you is going to be more of a glamorous, sleek kind of style. Um, so I would recommend using any of these types of combs. You want something that's gonna help rake through the hair um, by leaving it light and airy, but also being very precise. You would not wanna use something like this. Um, it's gonna pull on the hair, break it, um, and it's just too fine. You don't want something like that. So for Sarah's hair, I am going to go for something like this. It's a little bit closer together um, because her hair is not super, super thick. Um, and you just kind of want to comb it through. And if you hit like a part where it's kind of like, meh, meh, you can just kind of let it go and just lightly kind of go at it and then keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then it'll give it that effect of the waves so i'm gonna go around and do that and just start at the top and we're just gonna keep on keeping on you can see and we want to connect it all the way around so that's giving it that kind of beachy wave look when we're just combing it out and when you do more of a deeper side part that's when you're going to get that glamorous um wave that you would see um, you know, and like the 20s kind of hairstyle. So you can see how it's kind of just like meow, meow, meow. Very, very pretty. So we're going to move to this side. And that's when, as I said, you would do the curls in all the same direction too to give it more of an even dramatic effect. And that also includes those small pieces in these, there we go. It includes her small pieces in that wave right there. So it's a very, very pretty. So this is when you would um, go over it with your smoothing cream or a little bit of oil. I always tell my clients that weighs down um, those flyaways. I don't know if you can see, she just has a little bit up on the top. I'm gonna get that after, but um, Right now, you could spray it with your Stronghold hairspray as well. So it gives it that pretty high, Ooh. that pretty wavy wave, just kind of low key. Um, if you have just like a simple outfit going out or if you have more of like an elegant outfit, um, that's where you would kind of do like a deeper side part, do the waves all the same way. But again, same methods, just kind of customizing it to what you would like. So this is this style. And then the next style I wanna show you is taking this more to a fiercer, bigger look. So for the next voluminous style, um, I always recommend a nice texture spray. This is IGK's texture spray. Love this one um, because not only does it give you texture, but it also gives a nice strong hold that sometimes you don't even need hairspray. Um, but I always do recommend it. So what you can do is, usually I wouldn't have combed these out. I would have left it with the undone curls. Um, you would flip your head over, perfect. And then that's where you would kind of like finger them out a little bit, shake your texture spray and spray it like I am now, picking it up so it gets through all of that hair. Getting it through. And as you're doing this, you're creating more life and bounce in the curls. And then I would flip my head back over. Perfect. And then there you have your gorgeous glam waves. I love it. So then this is also where you can still kind of spray it up on the top because you can never have too much body. 
And then once you like it, that's when I would say use either a stronghold hairspray or a regular touchable hairspray. But we would want more of a hole, so then just a nice mist just to keep it intact. And then I always like to finish off with either oil or a moisture cream. Again, Amika, hi. And you really only need oh, a pea size amount. That's even a little bit too much, but I always say rub your hands together like lotion where you can't even see it. I'm gonna bring this closer. Perfect. There she is. And then you would just lightly go over the flyaways just a little bit. And this also adds extra shine. And I always do this just to kind of shape the front pieces and then kind of get rid of the extra product you have. And this will also help with, I mean, if you use the right hairspray, you won't get a film or anything like that, but this will help with if you have like that weird dusty look from hairspray or the crunchy look, just to soften it a little bit. So there we have it guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>